Well, the best thing you can do for your family and for everyone is, is to follow that guidance and stay true to that course because the greatest gift we can offer anybody is happiness. And uh, our families are counting on us to be happy. Uh, we're, we're to be the way showers of happiness and oftentimes when we follow the Spirit's guidance, it doesn't seem to register, it's, it doesn't go with the goals of the world. In fact, Jesus does say at one point, he says, you may have noticed how different the goal of this course is to the goals of the world. He's pointing out there's a huge difference between the goal for, for present peace, for forgiveness now, for that love and joy and happiness right now from the ego's pursuits of all kinds of make-believe goals. Bigger, better, faster, more. And so when you perceive that others are going through a lot of turmoil with these decisions you're making, all that is is a call for love. All that is is a call for love and acceptance. And a call to stay the course. Uh, because there's, these are very important guidances that you're receiving and, and you don't have to try to figure it out. Like, why would I quit my job? Why would I sell my house? We're being prepared, our heart's being purified and we're being prepared to experience and extend the Kingdom of Heaven. And are we not willing to take those little baby steps that are <laughs> given along the way toward the glory that this is pointing towards? So yeah, just remember they're just calling for love and you just keep on extending the love.